بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Our sermon for today has to do with the greatest of all books, the last testament. The, as reported, the Ummah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they have migrated from the Quran. They have left, they have distanced themselves from the Quran. And this migration could be divided as follows first people have distanced themselves from the recitation of the holy quran the recitation of the quran mostly is done during ramadan some people they recite the quran once during ramadan period and once ramadan is over they are over also with the Quran. The most important thing is, first of all, the recitation. And a lot of Muslims don't even know how to recite the Quran. Some of them don't even have the Quran in their possession at home or in the office. They don't. Because they don't consider it as the greatest revelation as the greatest book as the glorious Quran, the glorious words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So somebody who doesn't know how to recite, how can he go to the second level? The second level is for one to ponder on the meanings, the deep meanings that is embedded in those verses of the Holy Quran. After reciting, you have to ponder the meaning for you to understand the message that is contained in the glorious Quran. So understanding the meaning is also one of those things that the Muslims have distanced themselves from the Quran. Then the next thing is implementing the message in this glorious quran it is do's and don'ts that are provided injunctions provided by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the muslim to implement so for somebody who doesn't recite the quran who doesn't know the meaning how can he implement how can he follow the dictates of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How can he abstain from those things that are prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without him knowing them? So these are the issues that are discussed in the khutbah. It is important for us to come back and ensure that we understand the Quran, we recite it, understand it, and walk upon the injunctions. Walk, implement what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained us to implement. Practice what is contained there, abstain from what has been prohibited in the greatest of all books. By so doing, then we will have the mercy of Allah. Because when we turn away from that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that people are going to be in a difficult situation as we are today and even in the hereafter. So we are calling on all our Muslim brothers and sisters to ensure that we recite the Quran, ponder in the mean, and also try to practice what is contained in the Quran so that we will have the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, by so doing, we also try to see that our children are brought up in the same way. We should also do our best to ensure that this message has been spread 
because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the best among you is he who learn the Quran and teaches it to others. So for those that are well to do, they can use their money to print out this Quran, distribute them freely, and so on and so forth. Everybody should do his best to see that the message of Quran has been passed to the universe. This is the summary of our sermon for today. May Allah make it easy for us to be reciting the Holy Quran, pondering in its meaning, and also try to practice exactly what is in the greatest book. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.